10th ranked UCLA faces its third consecutive ranked opponent. And don't look now, but the Bruins have to do so in one of the toughest places in the nation to play Saturday. Hi, I'm James of Faithful Angelino Sports with your week seven preview of UCLA football against number nine, Oregon. And if you enjoy talking about the Bruins, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We talk about the Bruins here. So uh, for the last few weeks, I've been saying this like a mantra. This is the toughest opponent the Bruins have faced yet. This is the toughest opponent the Bruins have faced yet. Over and over, getting my zen on, right? So I'm not going to say it this time. I'll just let everybody else in the sports media do it for me. And then I'm going to agree with them. Here's why. Uh, one, it's on the road. It's only the second road game the Bruins have had this year. And you have to admit to yourself, even if you're the most pie-in-the-sky Bruins fan, that all those home games had something to do with UCLA 6-0 start. Number two, there will likely be thunderstorms, which means that the passing games are going to be limited. And that could hamper Dorian Thompson-Robinson, who's been magnificent otherwise throughout the course of the year. Number three, and this can't be understated, the Bruins haven't won there since November of 2004. I mean, 2004, it was a much simpler time back then, wouldn't you say? I mean, for historical perspective, George W. Bush was living his best life. He had, he had just defeated John Kerry in the presidential uh, for, for re-election, and there he is promising to get Osama bin Laden after downing a six-pack of non-alcoholic beer. I mean, UCLA back then was coached by Carl Durrell, that's how far back it was. And of course, as we all know, Durrell was fired earlier this year by Colorado. Since then, Rick Neuheisel couldn't win there. Jim Mora couldn't win there. And thus far, neither is Chip Kelly as the Bruins coach. I mean, the Ducks have won 14 of the last 17 times that they faced UCLA. And I mean, I do recognize that Oregon has a brand new coach this year, but I still think overall there has to be a common denominator in play. I do believe it's the home crowd up in Autzen Stadium. And I also believe that UCLA does not have the resources that Oregon has with all of that Nike money coming into the program. To be honest, I want UCLA to win. Oregon, they irk me, right? I mean, the Ducks are not an easy team for me to like. I mean, at the start of the week, I'm reading the, or, uh, the news articles from up in that state, and they're talking about how the big story is how the 5 and one Ducks are going to have special uniforms for the game. <sighs> I mean, don't they have special uniforms for every game? They're never wearing the same thing twice. It wouldn't even surprise me if they have special uniforms for every quarter. I'm amazed, absolutely amazed, that the Ducks don't lose timeouts while they're putting on their latest special uniform in the mirror, you know, looking at that Nike logo and going, hey coach, my, my reverse retro flat black Colin Kaepernick autographed jersey, I can't fit it over the cummerbund and the dicky. And then, of course, after they go out of their way to dress up all nice for everybody, to put on their freshest drip, then they go to get the hell kicked out of them by Georgia. So I look at Oregon, and I think they're more about fashion than championships. I mean, it's football, not America's next top model. And sometimes I just don't think they take it seriously. And I also might add that I don't care that college game day is going to Otzen. I don't need Lee Corso farting on stage while he puts on a mascot hat. I don't care. <sighs> so let's get down to business. I like the Ducks. I do. Especially if it rains. See, here's the deal. You can score on Oregon. Oregon allows more than four touchdowns a game. I think, however... Oregon will outscore UCLA, particularly if it rains. I think Oregon has just enough to limit UCLA's run game. Just enough. I mean, Oregon, for example, 
Oregon, when UCLA has the ball, Oregon has a lot of their front seven back. I think they have just enough. Both of their linebackers are seen as legit NFL prospects, Noah Sewell and Justin Flo. And as a side note, I think Justin Flo would be a tremendous hip hop name, but I digress. Sewell, he led the team in tackles last year. Oregon's weakness on defense is their defensive backfield. But if it's really lousy weather, Thompson Robinson might not be able to exploit that. See, Thompson Robinson has completed 75% of his passes, but that's in crystal clear Southern California weather. And by the way, Jake Bobo is a Bruins leading receiver, but he only averages about 65 yards per game. Now imagine trying to exploit that in a thunderstorm. I don't see it. Now, like I said, I still believe that the Bruins are going to move the ball on the ground. I think Zach Charbonnet is probably going to have a tremendous game. But I still think that the Ducks on offense have just a few more options than UCLA. And that will make the difference. They returned all five of their offensive linemen from last year. That's tremendous. Now, they lost their leading running back from last year. That was Travis Dye. He went down to USC. And Brian Cardwell does not have the numbers that Dye puts up. But the Ducks have three people with more than 330 yards. So they say Cardwell, who has almost 500 yards, say Cardwell needs to take a break. Well, they can plug somebody else in and they can still move the ball. With the Bruins, it's going to have to be Zach Charbonnet with a little bit of Dorian Robinson. So I'm saying Oregon has additional options. If you forced me to pick a team, is my point. If you forced me to pick a team, I would say that UCLA would score, but just not as much. Especially when it's in Oregon, especially in a loud environment, especially in what should be a thunderstorm. But you let me know what you think in the comments thread. Because I'm not afraid of being wrong. You're, I'm not afraid of being told why I'm wrong. If you enjoy talking UCLA football, if you enjoy debating UCLA football, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We talk about the Bruins here. I'm James. Thanks for watching. Faithful Angelinos is a Kian Corta El Queso production. Take care.